Welcome to one of NavFact's Career Compass videos. Today's topic is setting clear expectations. Setting clear expectations ensures employees are set up for success. But what exactly are expectations? They are a person's strong beliefs about the proper way someone should behave or how something should happen. A framework to create clear expectations is the four C's, communicate, commitment, consequence, and coach. Let's discuss them one by one. One, communicate. The first C is communicate. It's important to first communicate the expectations using the five W's, who, what, when, where, and why. This could look like, Ari, there is some confusion about the authorities granted to real estate. Within the next week, please review the P73 and outline each granted authority in two pages or less so that we can ensure we are supporting the mission. To ensure that everyone understands the expectations, ask the individual to use their own words to confirm the expectations. Just asking, are there any questions? Will not gain buy-in and ownership. Two, commitment. The second C is commitment. There are two things that build someone's commitment, their role and the decision-making process. So let's look at those two aspects, starting with role. When someone is crystal clear on their role, they know what to do and their level of authority to act. Yet, how many times do we hear team members say, I thought you were doing that? Or, I thought my job is just to do this. This uncertainty creates confusion, frustration, and wasted time. So get specific about who is doing what for each task. If the task is complex, break it into smaller roles. The second aspect of commitment is decision-making because who makes what decision is vital to creating individual and team commitment. For example, let's say you ask Rashida to do some research for the team. Rashida is excited and spends time researching, writing recommendations, and prepping ideas for the briefing. Yet during the meeting, you cut Rashida off and say you will review her information and make the final decision which irritates her and causes her to grumble, well, I'm not doing that again. Why? Because Rashida thought she was going to have a say in the decision-making process. Instead, the decision-making process could have been clearly communicated. Rashida, can you please research this specific issue in TWIMS and send me two ideas to improve the system? I will then consider your input along with other input before I make my final decision. So be clear on the decision-making process for each key decision. Three, consequences. The third C is consequences. Everyone generally understands the stick. Ensure everyone understands the carrot too. Lay out the positive consequences of meeting the expectation by linking the consequences to the mission, success, impact, opportunities, and the greater good. Also, make a conscious decision whether the negative consequences require discussion at all. Four, coaching. The fourth C is coaching, which has a positive impact on the mission. A coach is someone who helps another person or group of people become more effective. This is largely done by creating a dialogue that leads to awareness and action. Coaching equips your workforce with the tools, knowledge, and opportunities they need to be the best version of their professional selves. There are many benefits to coaching your employees. According to Forbes, coaching can lead to improved learning, increasingly efficient work output, a positive shift in organizational culture, improved morale, increased creativity, greater adaptability to change, and improved employee retention. By taking the time to open up a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with your employees, you are giving them the opportunity to express themselves. When coaching, listen and ask open-ended questions such as, how would you accomplish the work? What do you see as the biggest obstacles to accomplishing the task? What do you need to be successful? Before we wrap up, remember to 
set clear expectations using the 4C framework. Communicate, commitment, consequence, and coach. Communicate the expectations using the five W's and then ask for commitment. Lay out the positive consequences of meeting the expectations and then coach to success. Thank you for viewing this video. We hope that you gleaned useful and helpful information. If you have any questions, please contact your local BD17 representative or contact HQ's BD17 at NAVFACHQ Total Force Development at Navy.mil. To receive credit for your self-certification, please follow the directions on this slide.